every single day in King of Avalon, there should be certain tasks and certain things that you have to be doing in order to maximize out at the end of the day, whether it be to maximize out for your future shop events or whether it be to maximize out for the current events of the day and things like that. Let's go and have a look at exactly what those tasks actually are. Hey guys, Pokemountain here from twitch.tv slash Pokemountain, bringing you another Learning Corner video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing what you should actually be doing every single day in King of Avalon. How uh, should you be maximizing out on both your daily benefits, as well as planning for the future and for shop events and things like that. Right, so let's go have a look. Now, this, what I'm going to be showing you, applies to, generally speaking, applies to your main account as well as your farm accounts. So bear that in mind. And the more farm accounts you have, the more time this is going to take you to, to be doing every single day. But if you want to maximize out on your shop events and things like that, you really need to be doing it. As I've said in a previous video, you need to be treating your farms almost as good as you treat your main account. Right, so when I log into the game, the very first thing I do is I click on help. I help whoever's there because that disappears quite quickly and I want to be able to get as many of those uh, merit points as I can for my store. From there, I slide across and I click this tribute over here and the tribute will vary in how, how long it takes to get the next tribute. But when I log in the first time, it's always going to be there because nothing in the tribute takes that long to generate. Once I've done that, I come back here and I go to my hero council and I make sure that my free hero has been claimed. I generally do not claim my silver heroes until I get at least a 300. No reason for that. I just like to keep it and gain the 300 at once. And then the gold, obviously the gold horns, I save up for the shop events so that I can maximize out on that particular day's worth of rewards. I then come here to the wishing well and I quickly do my 10 wishes or 8 wishes or 3 wishes or whatever the case might be. I do my wishes. I slide across and if the arena is open, I will come here and I will claim my arena and I will claim here because that will reset this timer here. I will then go to loot and I will refresh my targets. Now, even if I don't get to do the, the attacking, the looting right now, that is okay because I have refreshed the target, so my cooldown timer now adjusts. So, I do that, but I don't loot yet. I first close here, I come through to the Spire, and I continue exploring in the Spire so I can get more crystals. These crystals are extremely important, and you should be doing this multiple times a day. Every single day you need to be doing this. This is how you're going to get your dragon to level 70, the fastest. Once I've done that, I will come down to here and I will collect my gathered resources or my produced resources, especially if there is a shop event because these resources can give you items for the shop event. In this particular case, it gives us 90 or can give us uh, 90 of the, let me just get there, 90 of these, what are they calling it? Uh, they don't even have a name for it, but you can get 90 of these for each, from each of your resource, resource production points. So I will do that first so that it can start generating the next lot of resources and at the same time, the next set of cards. I then generally won't do it again for a couple of hours because I want to maximize out on the odds of getting those New Year cards sort of thing so that I can progress my shop event further. So I would gather all four of those straight away. Once I've done that, I then go to Alliance, I go to Research, and I do my 20 research tasks. I go out here, I go to Territory, and I claim what's available in my Territory. I will then go to the store and I will say, right, I want to get each of these. Generally, I only buy these uh, farm boosting items when they're on special. 
If I see there's a teleport on special, I will buy that every single time. And if there's a shield on special, I will buy that every single time. Beyond those, um, I will make sure that I get my daily Dendrain or Brutus. At the moment, I'm concentrating on Brutus. So as soon as I maximize out on my points, I will be coming back to get my Brutus Fragment. If you are still needing things like destruction, a gear, and you're still needing gems and that sort of thing, I would say don't worry about your heroes right now. Get your destruction gear, get your gems so that you can have it ready for the next shop event, and you can get either the maximized points on that, or you can increase your power and your statistics. That's going to be a lot uh, more important to do that than it's going to be to necessarily just get yourself a hero. That's still going to take you time to open up all their skill slots and things like that. So I would definitely say if you don't have these yet, concentrate on those. Right, from there I will go back up here and then now I will do my looting so that I can hopefully click the refresh as, as many times as possible and get through that quickly. Once I've done that, I come back down. I just, out of curiosity sake, go and have a look at how many lucky shots I've got. I do not use them. I save them for the shop event. I'll come across here to Merlin's Trials. I'll claim the day before's trials. I will embark and try to do today's trials and see if something happened that I can get past. Generally, I can't get past uh, any further until shop events happen because I save up all my upgrades and that sort of thing for the shop event. So things like Hero Trials, that can go up. Dragon Trials, that can go up. Uh, what else? What else? Research to a certain extent. If you're a low enough stronghold, you should be researching every single day. If you are a medium to low end spender, you're going to be saving up your research and things like your Philosopher's Stones and your speed ups and that sort of thing for the shop events. So that might not climb uh, very much. Uh, gems, artifacts and buildings, all of that will generally be waiting for the next shop event. I then come here and I make sure I click on the statues so that I can claim my free steel, my dragon XP and my crystals for my dragon. I come to the marketplace and I do the marketplace. Now how we each do the marketplace is going to vary. So I save my marketplace to show you what exactly I do. First of all, wood is the easiest thing for me to obtain in this game. So anything to do with wood, I take it, irrespective of how much wood it is and what the item is. I claim those, okay? Then I go next. I do not spend any gold with the exception of two items. The small lord's stamina, or when I come across a teleport that is 1,200 gold. I will then purchase that teleport for 1,200 gold. And I just missed a wood there by mistake. But effectively, I would come through here and everything to do with wood, I would trade in and try and get myself, especially if the owner's pass is available. If the owner's pass is not available, I won't stress too much about going too far in this. Um, there we go. So that tells you that pop-down message came up saying that I have fulfilled my owner's pass which means that I've done 20 trades. Now, I don't really have much gold at the moment. I've spent all my gold that I had in the last Netherfall event. So I'm not going to spend the extra 20 gold right now just to get another page of trades, considering two things. Number one, I don't have much gold to spend. And number two, I've already got my honors pass to level 30. So anything I do now that's going to give me points here is not going to actually give me any form of benefit whatsoever. So I'm not going to waste that 20, that 20 gold just to do that. And the resources and items that I can get from that wood that I would be trading in is not really that important right now. From there, I would come up here and I would go to the Dragon Spire, or not Dragon Spire, to the, the Labyrinth, that's it, to the Labyrinth. And I will then click here and I will, per, and I will plunder. Okay, now, if you are struggling on the Labyrinth, the only thing I can really tell you, and I'll make a video on Labyrinth specifically so that you guys can get the full details. But what I can tell you now is that it is a really, really grindy mini game within the game. You have to plunder times 10, then plunder times 3 if you're at that point. 
then you're going to go here and you're going to say plunder times 10 plunder times three etc and you're going to plunder all day long and you're going to plunder till this stamina gets to zero when it gets to zero because this is the first time you've logged in you're going to leave it you're going to come back later on in the day maybe midday and you're going to do it again and you're going to come back in the evening and you're going to do it again and you're plundering and plundering and plundering is what's going to get you further <laughs> oh excuse me your plundering is going to be getting you rewards now these rewards include the scrolls which is what you really really need as well as the upgrade items these upgrade items are so important and this is what's going to allow you to get further in the labyrinth as you can see i'm literally on 810 i cannot beat this 810 just yet but i am i'm pretty pretty close my equipment for example is helm of justice at plus four i've got the armor of justice at plus four shield of justice at plus three I've got the Sword of Justice at plus 4, I've got the Graves of Justice at plus 4, and I've got the Gloves of Justice at plus 4. So the next item I get is going to be another Shield of Justice to make it also plus 4, and then I'm going to start grinding and get it to plus 5 and plus 6 and so on and so on. Now again, I'm going to do a video specifically on the Labyrinth so that you guys can know how to defeat the Labyrinth and which way to go and how to do your talents and things like that, talent points and that sort of thing. But for now, what you need to know is that you have to be doing Labyrinth every single day. If you click this little pentagram in the bottom corner here, it actually shows you altogether what you can earn from doing this Labyrinth. And the Labyrinth itself is, is, is going to be able to supply you with up to 190% on your troops. That's a very, very, very big free jump. 190% to attack, health and defense for all of your free troops right so beyond that okay the next thing you got to make sure you're doing is you got to make sure that you are spending your stamina before you log off the game at any given point in time your stamina needs to be on zero and when i say stamina if you go to your profile at the top corner here this green bar that fills up this stamina needs to be on zero for the simple fact that stamina sitting there is wasted RSS, wasted ingots, wasted philosopher's stones, wasted skills, wasted dragon level ups. That stamina is what's going to get you through your day-to-day -day stuff. And it's going to it's going to be what allows you to actually have the resources that you have in your game. So you're going to make sure that you do your barbarian rallies. You're going to make sure that you do your monsters. Make sure that if you go to quests, make sure that your daily quests are getting done, that you are doing five rallies for, for barbarian camps, and uh, or three rallies and five monsters. At bare minimum, and when I say bare minimum, I mean but that is bare, bare minimum. You need to be pushing out every ounce of stamina that you have got more reason than one the rewards here for us for example you're going to get 20 gold horns over here and here you're going to get another 10 that gives you 30 gold horns to save for your shop event you're going to get portal dust so that you can actually participate in the portal monsters and get yourself some water drake emblems if you don't have those already you get smoke you get prestige banners and things like that these are things you want to be doing if you come into here, you get your noble keys. Your noble keys to open up your noble chest level 5, for example, gives you noble badges. It's very, very important. You get another, like, another noble key and another lucky coin. So these really are important to maximize out on. And the easiest way to actually do that is to do your 5 monsters, your 3 rallies, and if you scroll across, you'll gather resources at least 3 times, donate, five times three sets so you're going to do actually 15 donations minimum and then training three times of 200 troops now there's a little trick to this that you might not be aware of and that is if you come to your inventory and you scroll all the way down you will see these scrolls that you get you sometimes get them from merlin if you've been attacked and you've lost a lot of troops by utilizing these scrolls you accounts as training troops so what i generally do is i just to train my troops and i know i've got it done and i'm not using my resources for troops unless it's the shop event i just come here i set it to two because remember the the quest said 
two sets, three sets of 200 troops, and each of those scrolls is worth two, uh, worth 100. So let's have a look here quickly again. Train 200 troops, and you've got to do that three times. So you come to your items, you go all the way to the bottom, you click there, you go to two, and you say use, use, use. And that will give you 200, 200, 200, and you can come back here, come to your quest, and you will see, up oh, there we go, I have successfully done that. And that way you're saving your resources for when you need to create troops for Kingdom Raids, for, for PvP uh, events, for shop events, and things like that. All right. Um... So that's your daily quest. The other thing you need to do is you need to come into your War Aid Center. Make sure you claim your daily deal. Check your limited deals, as we've discussed before, for what should you be purchasing. If you haven't seen that video and you want to know how to work your financial budget around KOA and what should you or should you not be purchasing, there will be a little card up in the corner over there to that video that we did. But you're going to come here. You're going to look at your $1 bundles. You're going to check Bundle Bonanza if it is there. And if you've got the VIP shop, you're going to make sure you check the VIP shop as well. After that, go to your event center and just scroll through and make sure that there isn't an event that you forgot. For example, the Golem, mo um, Golem Monster might be out and you forgot about it. Do your Golem Monster. Firelands. Even if you're not the biggest, if, when I go to Firelands, for example, I see a lot of people who are SH26 and that sort of thing. You're not, whatever troops die in Firelands, don't die for real. When you come out, you've got your troops back. So there's no reason to not try Firelands. There's no reason to not try Netherfall. You don't actually lose out on what dies in there. What dies in there dies for that one hour period. And then you come back out to the real world and everything is back where it was. So Firelands, do your Firelands, do your, your Golem. This Dragon Spirit Arena, it's not the greatest thing, but do it anyway because it's going to give you free resources to upgrade your Dragon Spirit. Um, your, portal monster, your portal challenge, make sure that you are donating to your portal because that donation to your portal means that your portal is going to open quicker and you're going to get more rewards by participating. And even if you can't participate, you're now going to be getting rewards because they ran the event and you donated. Excalibur Invasion, if, thing, if if your troops die in Excalibur Invasion, they die for real. So bear that in mind. Uh, this is King, This is KBK. So just bear in mind that what dies, dies for real. So that's up to you to decide whether you're going to be joining that or not. Um, again, Netherfall it doesn't cost you anything and you don't die. Your troops can't die from it for real. So do it. Participate. Join in with your, your, your alliance and go and kill somebody or get killed or just have fun. Just have absolute, absolute fun. We we lost one of our KBKs recently, and it was still such a blast. We had a shit ton of fun doing it, and you can too. Gold event. Now, this is going to be Kingdom Raid. Participate in Kingdom Raid. Check what you need to do today. Check what's tomorrow. Check what's the next day. Check what's the next day, and plan for the last day, which is going to be raiding other kingdoms. Even if you're a stronghold 24, join in. Whatever troops die, come back with the exception of 10%. So let's say, for example, you have 100,000 infantry, 100,000 bowmen, and 100,000 cavalry. You go out there and you fight and you lose everything. When the event is over and everything gets reset, you'll get everything back with the loss of 10%. So you'll actually lose 10,000 infantry, cavalry, and bowmen, but you'll get 90,000 of them all back. It's worth it. Do it. You're going to get some pretty decent rewards out of it. You're going to get your Sanguine Arcana if you don't have it. You're going to get material upgrades that you need for your gems. Um, you also get these Wounded Conversion Scrolls, which is actually quite nice, which you can only use during Kingdom Raid, but it helps to keep your troops alive as well for longer. You're going to get more upgrade items across the board. You're going to get extra march capacities. You're going to get shields, and you're going to get gold. And on top of all of that, you also have, uh, let's just see, where is it? Here we go. You've got other rewards that you, your kingdom can be getting, for example. And you can only get this by participating. Guys, go for it. Participate. You don't, especially for any event where you really don't lose your troops. Do it. Join in. Netherfall. Kingdom uh, Raid. Uh, Firelands. 
Go for it and have fun and get your resources, get your rewards and be doing this every single day. It is going to be critically important to your growth and to making sure you maximize out in your KOA game. Right, guys, that's going to be it for today. If there's any comments or anything that you wanted to mention, or maybe something I forgot that should be done every single day, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful in any other way, please hit the like button and then consider hitting subscribe and bell notification icon so that you can know whenever I upload one of these videos. Until the next video, guys, be good, be well, and be safe. Bye.